All right, guys, this is uh, finally, finally finished Assassin's Creed. I've also finished the downloadable content, part one. So thank God for that. Uh, miscellaneous things I need to still do. I need to throw in Tekken 7 again and download the... I guess there was another downloadable thing a million years ago with the dude from The Walking Dead and everything else. So i got to update that, but then uh, i got to do some rearranging here in the game room. I gotta read uh, the Assassin's Creed novelization of the game. I have to do a look at the art book of the game, uh, and then I have to read the Boston Red Sox uh, um, World Series book. Um, and then there's an Assassin's Creed comic that just came out as well. Uh, so once all that's done, I can get into Soul Calibur VI, and then finally uh, get get ready for Kingdom Hearts three, January 29th. Uh, that'll be awesome. But anyway, this is the last, uh, we had time to film this, so this is the last video game pickup video of the year, 2018, and it was a GameStop. I probably bought this stuff three weeks ago, maybe, maybe even two weeks ago. Let's see, do I have the receipt? I do. So I bought this. No way. Okay, this is the wrong receipt. Hold on a minute. I was about to say. All right, hold on. Uh, this it here. No. Nope. It's a pre-order for MLB 19, though. Is this the receipt? It is not. Is this the receipt? Should be. Here we go. December 13th. So, anyway. Uh, first up, and, in, in, you know, before you guys attack me in the comment section, I know one of these things is a piece of shit, but I bought it anyway because it had Pac-Man. So, it is the Bandai Namco um, from At Games. It is the... HDMI dongle, uh, Pac-Man Blast, or Blast it's called, Bandai Namco Flashback, uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller, 720p high, 720p high definition, HDMI, save and resume games, rewind games, 8 built-in games. On the side here, no wires, included 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller, gives you the range and peak performance you crave with up to 150 hours of battery life, it's pretty good. HD performance. Uh, HDMI dongle plugs right into your TV to power the fun. Superb 720p visuals and HD output mean these classics look and sound better than ever. Save and load. Save and load games on the fly. Pick up right where you left off. And over here, rewind. Rewind your game to try to beat that tough boss as many times as you want. Easy to set up. One, plug the dongle into available HDMI port. Two, power the dongle with the included micro USB cable. Connect the cable to USB port or USB AC adapter not included. Three, set your TV to the selected HDMI port. Four, connect the wireless controller and have a blast. So, have a blast with your favorite classics. Tire timeless gameplay, wireless HD on a big screen. Just pick up and play. You're sure to have a blast. Um, eight built-in games featuring Pac-Man. So you have Dig Dug, Galaga, Galaxian, Mappy, Pac-Man, Sky Kid, The Tower of Dur Druaga, and Xevious. So I picked this up. And then lastly, I picked up uh, WWF WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. Uh, plug-and-play TV game from MSI Entertainment. So this is pretty much the same thing that came out in the arcades or, or whatever, but uh, even for the NES, maybe. So, WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge, I think this did come out for the NES. Welcome back. 25 years after its debut, the classic game is back in your hands. Accept the toughest challenge in all of sports entertainment, the WWE WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. Feel the pulse-pounding action in singles and tag team matches that feature 10 incredible WWE superstars. Uh... You control every action, pack, move, and maneuver. It's interesting that they have WWE and not WWF, but they couldn't use WWF. They had to change it. That's real interesting that they they had to print that because back when this came out, it was WWF. You control every action, pack, move, and maneuver. Close lines, elbow drops, body slams, drop kicks, turnbuckle smashes, flying clothes lines. When you're ready for the ultimate challenge, the steel cage is ready for you. So... You get Ultimate Warrior, Brett Hitman Hart, Undertaker, Irwin R. Scheister, Jake the Snake Roberts, Macho Man Randy Savage, Roddy Roddy Piper, uh, Razor Ramon, Sid Justice, and Million Dollar Man Ted Biasi. WWE action so intense only 15 feet of steel can contain it. Go for the WWE Tag Team Championships with canvas shredding action. Tournament play. Will you be the next WWE Champion? I wonder if they had to... I wonder when they if they did this, if they had to fix it so it does say WWE. That's really interesting. But anyway, that's what I picked up. So, guys, <coughs> it's been a great year, 2018. Hopefully 2019 is better. Um, once I'm done with 
a lot of games if I need to play, like games that are coming out next year. Obviously, we have Kingdom Hearts Soul Calibur 6 now, but Kingdom Hearts 3, Dead or Alive 6, and uh, Mortal Kombat 11, just to name a few. Uh, once I'm done and have some time, I will be frequently trying to get out of this East Tennessee area and maybe head out to Nashville, head out to different places to video game shop, retro shop, etc. But guys, it's been a blast. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for some awesome uh, video game uh, footage of Soul Calibur 6 coming up, but also some pickups for next year. Appreciate it.